Week 45 Day 1 In Days of Yore Current novels are replete with lurid crimes, carnage and death. Do you get wistful when you recall the romantic tales that begin with an innocent maiden traveling through the rustic countryside? She is dressed in glittering raiment. The scene is idyllic. Without warning, the group is set upon by a burl brigand, who, in the most perfunctory and callous fashion, carries her off. Pandemonium results. Her entourage is in a state of bedlam. Her corpulent escort is irate, but unable to do anything to thwart this debacle. All he can do is rail against the catastrophe. What to do? What to do? Sample sentences. 1. The potpourri of o current fashionable raiment includes the fatuous and the discreet. 2. While all disgruntled men may rail against malevolent or Machiavellian leaders, democracy offers a way to ameliorate iniquities through the ballot. 3. Is there any veracity in the platitude that corpulent men are jocose? 4. To be candid, there is little to be wistful about in the good old days. 5. They captured the brigand, and he was incarcerated for a mandatory period. Week 45 Day 2 Woe is me! The raconteur of our story about idyllic times gone by goes on to elucidate how the comely heroine is taken to the bandit's hideout. There, a sullen crew of cutthroats is gathered. They don't wish to procrastinate. She must be taken immediately to a foreign land where much treasure will be paid for her. Their cupidity knows no bounds. The leader wants to hold her for ransom from her wealthy parents. The gang demurs. They are reticent. There is a rift among the criminals. Their leader remains truculent, and they agree to wait for just two days for the ransom money. An emissary from the grief-stricken parents is expected at any moment. The wan maiden, her spirits at their nadir, has time to ruminate about her lugubrious fate. Sample sentences. 1. He alluded to the rift caused in the school by the plethora of hirsute boys who ignored the criterion for appearance. 2. Well known as a raconteur, he was never chagrined when asked to tell a story from his large repertoire. 3. Despite all attempts to mollify her, she remained sullen about the levity caused by her slovenly raiment. 4. The obscure country, an aspirant for membership in the United Nations, sent an emissary. 5. An anomaly of our modern technology is that the more we need to know, the less time we have to ruminate. Week 45 Day 3 To the rescue Back at the castle, the situation is taut with emotion. The fair maiden's mother is livid with fear and anxiety. She has attacks of vertigo. She talks about her daughter's audacity in riding out into the ominous forests despite many similar kidnappings. The girl's father, a martinet who rules his family with an iron hand, staunchly refuses to pay the ransom. Iniquity shall not be rewarded. At this moment of crisis a heroic knight volunteers to rescue our heroine. He has had a secret yen for the young beauty. Avoiding rhetoric, he pledges his all to castigate those responsible for this ignominious deed. He holds his life as a mere bagatelle against the duty he owes his beloved mistress. At the propitious moment, he rides off to do or die for her. Sample sentences 1. The rabid baseball fan lost his equanimity and became livid, when the star pitcher became pugnacious, and was removed from the game. 2. There was a taut international situation caused by the proximity of unidentified submarines to our coasts. 3. When one enlists in the army, one expects to be under the aegis of a martinet. 4. His yen for imbibing and romping with girls worked to his detriment. 5. The little boy tried to wheedle a larger allowance from his father, by the caustic observations that it was a mere bagatelle, when compared to the allowances of his friends. Week 45 Day 4 Well done, Sir Knight. Seeking his adversaries, the knight rides to their hideout. Despite his callow appearance, he is reputed to disdain danger and to be a prodigious horseman. The kidnappers lose their equanimity at his approach. They are appalled at the prospect, and they are in a quandary as to which one will meet him on the field of combat. The leader, under duress, rides out. Do you have a penchant to die? derides the knight. 
More vituperative remarks follow. They spur their horses toward each other. It takes but one blow for our hero to decapitate the villain. The others flee to avoid their imminent destruction. The knight takes the maiden on his horse, and they ride back to the castle. Their wedding soon follows. Little does the knight realize that the fair maiden is a garrulous termagant who will make his life miserable with caustic remarks. Still, the cliché, and they lived happily ever after, must conclude our fabricated tale. Sample sentences. 1. We do not decapitate criminals because of our aversion to such repugnant punishments. 2. I do not wish to deprecate your penchant for cowboy music, but I find it banal. 3. Why do you remain docile while that termagant besmirches, maligns, and belittles you? 4. Each long holiday weekend we are appalled at the carnage on our highways. 5. It was deplorable the way the capricious girl led the callow youth on a merry chase.